like, whatever, take my picture, do what you gotta do, I'm over it. One doll hair and 99 cents. Oh my god, it's a Goodwill. That is a Goodwill. Hey everyone, Katie here from Thrift Your Heart Out, and today I am back with a ginormous thrift haul for you guys, and I am so excited. It's literally been stuff that I've been accumulating for months. Like, I have stuff in here from a sale back in December. I know, it's ridiculous. I've just been um, putting it all in a big box, which let me see if I can even. Oh my god! <laughs> so I put everything in this huge box and I've just been throwing stuff in there that I've been getting lately and I'm just ready to share it all with you guys. So I'm going to stop rambling and we're going to jump right into it. Also, I just want to mention it's a really dreary, cloudy day today. So I'm sorry if the lighting is bad. I'm trying to work with what I got here. There's like no sunlight outside, so we're just gonna make it work, so. All right, so the first couple of items are from the Goodwill store in San Francisco that I went to recently on Haight Street, and I was so excited because we actually went there, me and my boyfriend went to go to Amoeba, which is at the end of the street, and I was like, I think I remember the last time I was here, which was years ago, that there were some like buy sell trade stores or like a vintage store, like let's just look around and see if it's there. And lo and behold, there was a vintage store, which was of course way overpriced, even though they had some beautiful things. Um, right next to it was a buy sell trade store, but it was closed for that day or maybe closed indefinitely, I wasn't sure. And then we kept walking down the street and I'm looking in the window, I'm like, oh, that place has like a lot of dresses. That's crazy. Oh my God, it's a Goodwill. God, it's a Goodwill. And it was huge and it had so, oh God, it was just, it was such a magical moment. <laughs> so I was like, um, bae. Like, I'm going to need to look around for a little bit. But he was very patient, very kind, which I so appreciate. Um, but I found a few things for my Poshmark closet, so those are already listed. But I found a couple of things for myself, including this just super simple striped Calvin Klein dress. And it's just really soft cotton. One of those things I'll be able to throw on in the spring and summer when it's a bajillion degrees outside and be good to go. So I was really happy to find this one. It was $8.99, which I feel is pretty reasonable for a dress. And just overall, their prices at that store were bananas. <laughs> like way, way reasonable, as you'll see with the next piece that I show you. And I was happy to see that they even had a color tag sale going on in the middle of the week because all we have here in Sacramento is on Sundays, they do 50% off of one special color. So I was just blown away with that story. You guys are so lucky, the ones that live in that area. So next up from that Goodwill is this adorable little uh, lacy crop top, but it's also cold shoulder. Like, can it get any better than that? And this one was only $1.99. One doll hair and 99 cents. Like, I could not believe it. And I just think this is going to be so darn cute with a high-waisted skirt or maybe a high-waisted um, skinny jeans. I just think it'll be adorable with so many different things. So I was really, really happy to find this one. And honestly, if I had a bigger budget, I would have just bought the entire store out. But I had to just keep it together, you know, just keep the things that I really wanted. But I'm already planning a trip back there. So next up is an item that I picked up at the Deseret Industries thrift store, and that is this super cute, kind of reminds me of a candy cane <laughs> um, skirt that I got, and I love the red and white stripes. I have something very similar to this in black and white, but I thought the red would be a nice change and perfect for the summer. It'll be so nice with uh, navy and black and a graphic tee, kind of like what you guys saw in my Valentine's Day lookbook. If you didn't check it out, I'll make sure to put it up there so you can go see. But of course, the shape is just like, Katie to a T, like I had to get it and it was only six bucks. So the next place that I visited recently was the American Cancer Society thrift store that is here like very close to me, which is dangerous. Um, but they are kind of all across the board with their pricing. Some stuff is just like ridiculously priced, it just doesn't need to be that expensive. But then most things are around five, four dollars for a top and you know, eight dollars for pants, which I think is pretty reasonable. So the first thing that I got there was this really cute, um, kind of oversized boyfriend style uh, plaid top, which I have one in flannel and I wear it to death. So I was really happy to find this one. It's a lot more lightweight, so it'll be great for spring. And it's got just this cute little um, cutout detail in the back. So I know I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it and this one was only $5. So the next thing that I picked up at the American Cancer Society thrift store just make me giggle every time I look at them. And they are these 
awesome pajama pants. And they have this very sassy cat all over them, <laughs> kind of doing a multitude of different things. And it kind of looks Christmassy, like this is probably from their like winter line, just because he's holding on to like a candy cane and he's got these colorful kind of Christmas colored socks on, but whatever, I just couldn't get over that face. Like he just looks like he's had it to here. He's like, whatever, take my picture, do what you gotta do, I'm over it. <laughs> So I figure even if I only wear them a couple more times until it gets warmer, whatever. They were only $4 at the store and they just, they make me happy. So the last item from that store I kind of debated on. I was like, do you really need it? I don't know. But then I just had to grab it and add it to the stack of things I was getting because it is adorable. And it is this really cute Bon Voyage little clutch. And I just think... I love anything that's graphic. I think that's what it is. I love typography. I love really bold things. So I thought that this was just awesome. I love the gray color. That'll serve me really well. And I was really happy to see when I got it home, it actually has the original tag on it, kind of a ginormous tag, um, but it's from Under One Sky, which I don't really know where they carry that. But that's always nice when you see something is brand new from the thrift store. But I'm just super excited to pair this with a cute little dress for the spring or kind of rough it up with like a leather jacket, boyfriend jeans, graphic tee, that kind of thing. So super happy I actually ended up picking it up. So the next piece I picked up while I was looking for my Valentine's outfit at Thrift Town, and it is this super sweet little gingham romper. And I know you curvy girls out there are gonna feel me with this, that finding a romper is so tricky. The bottoms are always too tight. The top isn't quite blousey, but this one fits really, really nicely. And I like that I can kind of cinch it in at the waist as I see fit. So super happy to find this one. And it was 50% off day when I went shopping. So I scored it for only two bucks. So I'm pretty excited to bring Picnic Chic back. I think it'll be pretty awesome. So the next place that I went was Eco Thrift and I only ended up with one pair of shoes, but I'm totally over the moon about them. And they are these little lace up sandals, which I know they don't look like much. They're not like, you know, crazy glittery heels or whatever, but I think they're gonna serve me really well for the warmer weather. And the reason I know that is because I had something very similar last season that were more of like a cheap plastic and I just wore right through them because I wore them so much. So these ones are more leather, uh, really well-made material, so I think that they'll hold up a little bit better. And they're just cute. I just like how they look. And they're only $3, so win, win, win. So you know what I mentioned that I've been holding on to stuff since December? Yeah, the last items that I have are from the Goodwill Day After Christmas sale. I'm so ashamed, but <laughs> better late than never, right? So I picked up quite a few things. They're all in the same color palette, aka black and white, or very, very dark colors, but that's just, it's what I'm known for, it's what I like. So the first thing that I got was this really basic little black cardigan, and of course I pick these up whenever I can, and I kind of had to get a replacement because the last one that I got that I was really excited for, my sister pointed out that it had holes underneath the arm, like the first day that I wore it, so can we just have like a moment of silence for that cardigan? It was tough. It was a tough loss, but I found it's a replacement. I think that this will be good. I gave it a thorough check. It looks good. It was only $2.50, so I think it'll serve me well, and I'm going to take very good care of it. I feel like there's almost no point in showing you the next item because I pick them up at every turn. <laughs> like Every time that there's a sale, I'm going to be getting myself a black and white striped shirt. I just, I wear them so much. I have a nice little collection because I go through them so often and this one was in perfect condition. It's from Target. It looks like it was barely worn, which is awesome. And they had it originally for $5.99 at Goodwill, which I personally think is a little high for just a t-shirt. But to get it for three bucks, like I'll go ahead and pick it up. So I found another Target item on that Goodwill trip and that is this super basic, kind of a snooze fest black t-shirt. Sorry, it's not more exciting, but you know, these things really come in handy. I actually found that I didn't have a black t-shirt and I was totally looking for one to go with an outfit recently. So I'm happy I have this one. As you can see, it still has the tags on it, which is nice. And again, it was only $2.50. So I forgot that I got something with color during this trip. Like, woohoo, I know, mixing it up for you guys. So it is this super adorable 
blue marbled sweater originally from Croft and Borrow, but I really liked the cowl neck detail and how long it is. So I can just throw it over some leggings, pair it with some boots and be good to go. So super duper happy to find this one and I want to say that it was only $4, which I think is pretty reasonable for a sweater that still has the tags on it. So I don't know about you guys, but I am totes into the 90s rib t-shirt thing that's big right now, and I have a couple already in my closet, but I was happy to find another one to add to the collection. And it's this just super basic black rib t-shirt, but it does have the um, exposed zipper there in the back, which I thought was a nice detail. And I picked it up for only $3 during the Goodwill sale, which I thought was pretty reasonable. So I want to hear from you guys. If you're into the same kind of thing, let me know how you would style it in the comments below. So the next item doesn't have the tag on it because I've been wearing it to death. I love it so much and it is this amazing A-line, super cute little mini skirt from Lauren Conrad which they carry at Kohl's. But I just saw it and thought, oh my god, that color is to die for. I'm hoping you guys will be able to see. It's kind of like a maroonish eggplant color, somewhere in the middle of that. So I just love that it wasn't your basic black or gray or something boring. I do have a little bit of color in my wardrobe, um, but literally I've just been wearing it so much. I love how it looks just with a tight little shirt or a sweater paired on top. I just, I can wear it so many different ways. It was only $3, which I think is such a score. So second to last from that Goodwill sale is this amazing Calvin Klein top. Like, do you guys die? Like, did you see me just staring at it? Like, do you die at that? So it's this kind of black pleather grid detail, but then the underlay is like a mesh, like a cream mesh. I just, I can't. This shirt is so well made and so beautiful and structural. I'm just into it on so many different levels. And then the back, as if it doesn't get any better, has a little exposed zipper. Hello, love this. So with the sale, it was only $3.50 and literally, I cannot wait to wear it. I think it is over the moon, amazing, exciting. Cannot believe I got it at Goodwill. So last but not least, I think may have been a gift given from the thrift gods themselves because I've been thinking when I went to that sale at Goodwill, I was like, if I could just find some heeled black boots, like that'd be pretty cool. And I don't mean like stiletto heel. I'm not into that kind of look or pointy toe. No, thank you. So I was like, maybe, maybe I'll find them. And look what was bestowed upon me. Beautiful Charles by Charles David heeled black boots. I, I can die. Like, I can die happy now. Like, these are just stunning. They fit so darn well. They're in excellent condition. Like, the bottoms are pretty much pristine. The um, suede doesn't have any weird, you know, flaws in it or anything. And it's just the right kind of heel that I was looking for. So I was so, so happy to find these. They had them at Goodwill for 2020, which is a pricing thing that they're doing, I guess. So I got them for half off of that, which I just think is such an amazing deal for boots that I'm going to be able to wear for years to come. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I have picked up lately. I know it was a lot, but if you have been finding anything at your local thrift stores, make sure to let me know in the comments below. I always love hearing from you guys. And as always, thanks for watching and happy thrifting.